sorry, I was just um <laughs> I was just going to the toilet quickly before <laughs> stream. I was like, oh no, I gotta pee. Hello, I'm out. Hello, Hendrik. I am okay, thank you. You finally finished both your retake exams. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is amazing news in mouth. I'm so glad to hear that for you. Hello, excited for the stream. I'm excited to stream as well. I've missed our medieval sims. I've missed medieval. And I'm excited to be back. I hope you guys are doing well. Henrik, I hope you're holding up okay. It's been a dramatic week. Goodness. <laughs> but yeah, that's really exciting. I hope that you felt your exams went well. Um, and that you are feeling confident about how it all turned out. And I hope they were a bit easier than the first ones because you were saying the whole reason you had to retake them was because they were a bit like hard, weren't they or something? Hey Shadow, good to see you. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Hey Shady, glad you could make it today. Also quick news, you recently did an antibody test with B&T cell screening. What does that mean? The results came out and it looks like I have already had an Omicron infection and didn't notice. That's what you thought, hey! Although you do have sufficient antibodies and B and T cells for Omicron. Oh, okay. The retakes were much easier than the original exams, thank goodness. Yeah, I had no idea that was a thing either, Amal. But that's what you thought, hey, you thought you might have had like a really mild case of it and, and barely even noticed. Isn't that interesting? Gosh, I hope that that's, like, true for me one day. <laughs> oh, gosh. But yes, no, I'm glad your, your exam retakes are a bit easier. Um, that, that is good news. I ended up having the most lazy, like, return to work week ever. I had, like, um, two meetings, one on... So on Monday, I caught up on my emails, which was a job because, like, there was a lot of emails. And then on, I sent an email as well, just like checking in with my teams that I'm involved in. I'm like, hey, just letting you know, like I'm back at work. Like, are we meeting up this week? Blah, blah, blah. And then, um, yeah, like, so I had a meeting on Tuesday and I had a meeting on Wednesday. Oh, is it? Oh, sorry. Um, that's not going to help. Do you mean like just in general or compared to the music shadow? Let me know if that's better. But yeah, just like two meetings. Um, and then I sent some emails. <laughs> I was like, okay. Maybe just try cranking up your volume, love. Okay, good, good, good. I just knocked it up like a tiny bit. Hi, Jidstad. How are you, darling? Have you had a good week? Have you been playing in your new Sims 2 game? Oh, in general, you had to turn your volume up quite a bit. Oh, let me let me crank it up. I don't want to like um, cap out my microphone. So let me know if it starts like maxing out. Hey, Sandy, good to see you. Hi, Cephalafalot, good to see you as well. Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm really glad you could make it today. I have been yeah, I've been really looking forward to streaming again. So. Glad you could all be here to hang out with me while we get stuck back into our medieval gameplay. But yeah, I ended up doing not much this week. I was like, because I had in my head, yeah, this week is like returning to work week. And then it was like, I didn't have to do anything. So the real return to work week is going to be in February. And I'm going to be like, oh, great. Oh, good job, Amalk. Good job. Yeah, so we actually booked in our booster shots. <laughs> Finally, we booked in our booster shots for the 8th of February. And then in one of my meetings this week, uh, my my boss was like, okay, so the week of the 7th of February, that's when, you know, we're going to be resuming all of our visits and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, ooh, that's not quite going to work for me because I think I'm going to be a bit sick for a few days. <laughs> Eep. Your week was just pure drama, but you won't take that here. Yeah, thanks, Hendrik. I just... We're, just, we're thinking of you. You played a bit and now you've had to go back to default replacements. Now it's the hairs. I had done clothes. You're not 100% finished with clothes. About 75 is close enough to play. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa. My camera went out of focus. Hello, I'm here. Hello. There we go. I'm back. Um, yeah, that's a big job. 
<laughs> That's a big jump, just that. But you got this. Press circle for your patience, exactly. Let's all just join hands and... Oh, just send some good vibes out into the world and into the Sims community. Good vibes. Love, peace, tranquility. <laughs> Oh, did I? Oh, I did like move myself over. Oh, that's why it looks funny. Hi, there we go. Now my head's in the tea again. Okay, that's better. Ah, coffee. Life giving elixir. Last night, we stayed up way too late, me, me and my hubs, because we were, we ordered pizza for date night, um, because we didn't feel like going out. <laughs> and then we were watching, um, that German series that I was telling you guys about uh, last week sometime. <laughs> yes, there's a green screen. <laughs> but yeah, so we were watching this series on Netflix um, called The Dark and we, we finished watching it last night. We like binged the last couple of episodes so we could finish it and get it over with. So we stayed up a bit too late. Uh, is it still hot? Alice is good, exactly. Oh, Hendrik, can you tell me what the German word is for like doing? So if I want to ask my husband, what are you doing? It's like, what, was ist deine, was ist deine? <laughs> I don't know the word for doing. <laughs> uh, tea would be good for your hair cleansing, yeah. Um, is it hot in Australia? Yeah, it depends where you are. Australia is a very big place. Um, no, it's not always hot in Australia. In my city today, or my area today, it is a cool and cloudy... Okay, not actually as cool as I thought. It's like 28 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Maybe about 80. Um, we had a very hot week. So this week we had temperatures get up to like... Blah, 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 um, 40, 38, 39, 40, which is like 100 Fahrenheit, basically. Was machst du? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Was machst du? Right. Gotcha. Ah, uh, yes. Death. Exactly. Yeah, no, it was really hot. <laughs> I did not go outside. <laughs> I just stayed in our lovely air-conditioned house. Luckily, we have, um, we have a massive solar power system on our roof and on the roof of our shed, so we essentially get free air conditioning in the summer, which is really nice, because the hotter it is and the sunnier it is, the better the solar works. So <laughs> we just crank the air con and don't have to pay electricity, and it's pretty sweet. I'm freezing in the northern hemisphere. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're cold. But yeah, it's like, it's quite up and down. Like this morning's very cool and cloudy. I'm sure it'll warm up later, but. You're supposed to get three or more inches of snow. Oh my gosh. Can't fathom. Can't fathom. Three inches. That's a fair bit. That's like this much. Yeah, like one, two. Wow. <laughs> the best place I've ever lived in has been a half basement with a working fireplace. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I do love a working fireplace. I've lived in a few houses with working fireplaces. They're really nice in the winter in Australia. It does get cold. Never goes, hmm, I can't say it never goes below zero where I live. It sometimes does overnight in winter, but it's very rare to go below zero, but it'll still be like cold enough that a fire is really nice. Never got hot in the summer and in the winter we'd get some logs and the fire would keep the whole place warm. Yeah. Have you guys heard of like earth, earth houses or like, um, I can't remember what they're, what they're called. They're like moon ship houses. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, there's like a place in Mexico where basically they build these houses out of like all natural ingredients like tires and mud. And they're like half, they're really like built into the ground. So they're like half underground. Hobbit homes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> earth ships. I think they're called earth ships. And um, yeah, it was like, it's like they build their houses like all naturally and they dig them into the ground and it's in like Mexico or somewhere. Um, and it's super duper hot, but the houses just stay naturally super duper cool. I think all hot climates we should consider just living underground, to be honest. The hobbits knew what they were doing. Yes, they did. Smart, smart cookies. Well, didn't, um, isn't Tolkien famous for saying that the hobbits actually had one of the most, um, advanced, like, civilizations out of all the civilizations in the Lord of the Rings? Like, they were quite, act 
Like they were they were simple, but they were quite um, advanced in terms of an actual like you know peaceful organized human civilization. I think I read that somewhere. I don't know. This that's just my Lord of the Rings nerd coming out. By the way, my ex-girlfriend is already pregnant again. Oh my goodness, she's not even 20 yet and this is her third pregnancy. <gasps> not six months after the birth of her daughter. Wow, she must love being pregnant. Can't relate. Hi Bella, it's good to see you. Welcome into the stream. I haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're doing well. Gabby, sorry, I should just call you Gabby. I know who you are, but I read your username and I'm like, yeah, Bella. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, yeah, good to see you. Glad you could be here. But yeah, no, pregnancy is no walk in the park, so I like... Your ex-girlfriend must enjoy it. <laughs> Maybe it's easier for her than it is for me, I don't know. Oh no, that's okay, no, don't apologize. It's good to see you here. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I had a, I had a rough pregnancy week, I think. I just, just had a couple of days where my pregnancy symptoms were like really rough. Cause it was like oh my god like i just cannot be out of bed today or um i'm just so exhausted i'm gonna go in even though i slept for eight hours last night i'm gonna go and nap for another two hours because i just can't keep my eyes open yesterday was better um and i'm hoping today will be good but it just meant i did not get as much done last week as i would have liked and i was just moody <laughs> <laughs> I was just cranky, like, gonna be honest, like, yesterday in particular, I was just in a foul mood. I was like, yeah, <laughs> crabby. <laughs> the hormones, man, the hormones get you. It can be, it can be rough, it can be challenging. I know, just sad, I know. Sounds like me when I have insomnia. I've had a few nights where I've struggled to sleep as well, which I don't think helped. Her second pregnancy was very smooth, but her first one was very rough. Yeah, I'm hoping that mine will be smoother. Round two. Because Paul and I definitely want to have more than one kid. Um, he wants three. I'm like, let's see how we go with two. And then, like, we'll make a decision on three. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Paul keeps telling me. He's like, okay, you're like, the only thing you need to worry about doing right now is just growing jelly. And I'm like, I know, but I want to do more. I miss my YouTube channel. And I want to do this. And I want to do that. And I want to exercise. And I want to do this. It's hard knock life. We need some jelly and jam. <laughs> yeah. We'll see about marmalade. Yeah, we'll see. Exactly. Marmalade's like, yeah, give or take. But it's just like, because Paul never had siblings, and I had three siblings, so we come from very different backgrounds, but I'll talk about my siblings, and he's just like, I just can't relate to that, and I'm like, you'll learn. You'll see when we have more than one kid what it's like. <laughs> Oh gosh. When we got married, I wanted five kids, but after the third, we decided that was enough. Oh, Shady, that's adorable. Good for you. But yeah, we'll see how we go. I feel like three, like, just really ramps up the crazy compared to two. You're an only child and you begged for a baby brother when you were a kid. Aw. Well, I have two older sisters and a baby brother, and um, it was no walk in the park. You need a bigger car after three? Dude, these days you need you need a bigger car after two because car seats are massive and they have to stay in their car seats. In Australia, kids have to stay in their car seats till they're about eight years old. Isn't that insane? So, if, like, because I want to, like, I would want to have, like, if I was to have three kids, I would want to have them within the next, you know, seven years or so, six, seven years. And it's like, bruh. If I have three kids under eight, they all need to be in a car seat. I'm not going to be able to fit that in like a normal sort of five-seater car. Whoa. You're the oldest of four. Many times I wished I was an only child. <laughs> I bet that my sister, my eldest sister, would say the same thing. She was like a mini mum, the eldest of us. Eight years old. Uh-huh. Unless they're like past a certain height. I think after they turn seven, if they're like tall enough, they can get out of their booster seat. My mom's like, it's not that easy, baby. Oh, <laughs> You're an only child, never wanted siblings, but used to think having a twin would be cool. And I'll take zero children, please. It's not for everyone. It's not for everyone, Bella. I had one boy, oh, two. One boy, one girl worked out perfectly. Yeah, see, I think that'll be, like, with me, as, me, me and Paul as well. If I have one of each, I'll be like, do we really need to go the third? Whereas we, if, if we have the two that are the same, then I might be like, 
Let's go. Let's go to bed. <laughs> I mean, we have booster seats for five-year-olds, but eight. Yeah, eight-year-olds. Uh-huh. Oh, a mouth. That's rough. I'm sorry to hear that. You were so young at the time. That's crazy. I can't imagine going through that when I was like 14, 15 years old. Yeah, that's horrible. I'm glad that this lady is now your ex-girlfriend. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's, um, it's been like 17 minutes of sitting here doing nothing. Whoopsies. Let's <laughs> jump over to the game. Let's see if we can load a lot without it crashing. I was thinking today that we jump into Fenella Wellsy. I think she has a lot of like butchery animals and things that she needs to get into her butchery shop so we can expand the economy and have more people coming to buy things from the butcher. Um, also, she needs to make some money so she can afford to continue buying everybody's animals. Poor animals, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, this may be triggering for some people. I, I do apologize. But, uh, yeah. There's not many vegetarians or vegans in, uh, in the medieval era. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you love and are grateful for your son, Amel. I brought up my eldest as an only child. He was 20 by the time I had my second and I had moved out of home. So I raised an only child and Ma now raising a pair. It's a world of difference having two over one, I bet. Oh, okay. So let's see where we're at. So it's four o'clock in the morning and she's decided to get out of bed. Let's just have her relax on the bed real quick so she can reset the blanket there. Okay, so let's take a look at our inventory real quick. I just want to have a look at what we've got here that we need to butcher and deal with. So, over here we do have a, a moo, a schmoo. Uh, we've got some food over here. We have another calf here, so I'm going to pop that in our cow pen so he can grow up. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six hens to process. And we've got another one, two, three fully grown cows. Oh my gosh, we're going to have beef coming out of our, our butts. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Hi, Historic Simmer. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, it was more necessary back then and less greed involved. It was. It was much more like a supply and demand um well i mean there were just less people weren't there and it's like much more local so it was only like what the local shops kind of needed what the local um co yeah local economy needed that they would butcher how are you Kristen? it's good to see you hope you've had a good week <coughs> m not ma i was like i was trying to figure it out just so i'm like wait what are you trying to say <laughs> <laughs> you love Franny. Hey, Rich. Good to see you. Glad you could join in the stream today. So, yes, today, guys, this is Fenella Welsey. Um, and she is actually a very, very uh, unusual medieval sim because she is a strong, independent female who don't need no man. She's actually the town butcher, um, which kind of bucks a bit of tradition. But we, her story is that she was raised, we're saying raised by a butcher, um, who sort of like taught her the craft and taught her um, what he knows. And now, oh, that outerwear doesn't look very medieval, does it? We might have to do a plan outfit. Um, yeah, so she is continuing on his craft. Um, I'm not saying she's against the idea of ever getting married, but it's not the top of her priorities. That said, she's actually got double lightning bolts with quite a few men around town. <laughs> so we'll have to see what happens. Um, there you go. I think that's supposed to be your outerwear. Is your everyday still the same? Are you okay there? Yes, you're okay there. Not bad, hubby's home from work early, so we're both having a little gaming afternoon. Oh, that's so fun! We had a little gaming afternoon yesterday too, me and my hubs. 
Is she going to butcher all the animals in her inventory? It'll be a bloody episode. Um, she'll butcher a lot of them, yes. Is she a part of the female night guild? Not yet, but I would love to have her join. I would love to have her join. In Medieval, in my Sims 2 med Medieval Charter Challenge, the females are rising up 200 years earlier than... <laughs> Not 200, oh my gosh. Hundreds, hundreds of years earlier than they really should be. But uh, I think that's probably historically accurate. Um, okay, I'm just going to check through all of her outfits and just make sure... Because I had a lot of my outfits reset, so I just want to make sure they're all still relatively medieval. And then we'll go ahead and add laundry to her lot, because I have not added laundry to her lot yet. I just wanted to do this before we're spawning uh, <laughs> piles of dirty laundry all over the place. Pow girl! Yes! She's amazing. We love her. Okay. I mean, we all know that even in real history, it was probably the women who actually ran things. <laughs> we all know this. Um, but yeah. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and grab out some, some stuff to start the process of laundry spawning on this lot here. So I'm going to get her a medieval wash tub that will pop in her backyard. Um, maybe, kind of... Yeah, I would actually love to have it... Can I have it just sit on top of that? I wonder if she can interact with that. Just So this, um, you can't really see... Let me change it to daytime. There's like a little wooden hatch here. This is covering a pool on the lot for my water mod. So yeah, I wonder, I'm wondering if she can in actually interact with that while it's sitting on top of that, because that would be really fun. Her hair is beautiful, uh-huh. That's how my family works at least. <laughs> exactly, Sir Falafel. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, and then we'll get her a little clothesline, which will pop just there so she can hang her laundry when it's time for it to dry um, and then I wouldn't mind just getting her um, one basket to hold her clothes there we go okay so we do actually still have a fair bit of money which is interesting I, I was worried that Fenella would be going broke because she has to buy all of the cows and the cows cost like a thousand simoleons a pop so, uh, that's good. Let's go ahead and get her to have some porridge for breakfast, and then we'll go about uh, getting the butchering started. Can't get upset about The Sims 2 animals when I'm currently modding Skyrim, where I'll probs be shooting poor deer with my bow and arrow and meeting mammoth snouts. <laughs> Fair. Top pops the gong pit on top of the pool. No, it's not the gong pit. What are the other two beds for? The other two beds are just for the future. Um... The Medieval Charter Challenge has, like, sort of requirements when you build the lots, uh, where you've got to have certain furniture. Um, so I just have extra beds. Our animals have good, happy lives and are butchered as humanely as possible, so no worries. Exactly, Shadow. Exactly. Oh, Gentry Lady Nara was awesome, Amalk. I loved seeing that you put her into your game. That made me, that made me happy. <laughs> I was like, um, oh, that's really, really fun. I was hoping that you would download her into your game. I just, like, in my head canon, she's, like, a secretly a nasty piece of work, though. So it's like, watch out. Your, gen your, your gentry class better watch out for Nara. You never know what she's going to do. You also ranked up to level 3. Nice. I think we'll be close to ranking up to level 3 once we're through with this round. But we'll have to see how we go. Like, when we're f completely finished with winter. Okay, so we're going to, um, oh, I don't even know if I can actually butcher, um, oh wait, okay, so this is, this is where it's going to be a little bit nasty. I do apologize for this, everybody. So I have to kind of chick, uh, sit our hens out. We'll do, we'll do three for now and then we'll do three another day. Um, and then we we have to actually like slaughter the animals. So if you are triggered by this, please uh, look away now Because yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, Humanely just say goodbye to our animals. Oh, I also need to feed and water these guys um, So we won't watch that But yes, we do unfortunately need to do that Oh. 
Why can't she butch why can't she butcher those guys? Just pick them up, it's fine. I'm not sure why she can't actually butcher these guys though. That's kinda weird. I thought we had to like slaughter them before we could butcher them. But the only options I'm getting is to inspect them. Anyone know what that's about? I'll just pop them back into our inventory for now. Yeah, I thought it was too. But yeah, slaughter first and then butcher. And it's the same with these guys over here. I can't actually do anything but inspect them. T! Hello, Nova! Amalka's redeemed Let's Wahoo. Oh my goodness, Amalk. Um, I don't exactly know who you want us to Wahoo with. <laughs> she has no romantic prospects at this stage of her life. <laughs> with who? If cows are female, you can't slaughter if they are pregnant. Oh, maybe that's the issue. But then usually if they're pregnant, I can, um, I can force them to have their calf. Like, I'm just con confused as to why I've got no interactions with them. You know? It has been a little while, I know. The first one who passes by the house. Okay, okay, we'll make it a we'll make it an aim for her, um, her round here. Yeah, like I can't do anything with this cow. I can't force milk. I can't do anything. I'm a little confused. Make sure it's risky. Can you slaughter animals that are sick? Shouldn't be ill unless you forgot to feed them. Their food and water was empty when I loaded the lot, but they should be fine now. I'm just inspecting the cow now. Oh, okay, so this cow is sick and pregnant. So maybe you're right, Kristen, and I need to... I need to just give them some grazing grass or something to just eat. Uh-oh. Why is my grazing grass invisible? Oh, because it's winter. Um, kitty! There is a kitty. There is a kitty on the lot. Yes. This here, over here is uh, Shuey. Kitty Pat. <laughs> yes, there is always a lot of background to my gameplay. So are you okay? Are you okay, cow? Are you also sick? Let me see. Can I inspect this cow? You've got food and water now, darling. So if you can just go ahead and sort yourself out. Mm. Oh, she can't inspect this cow. How do you redeem kitty pats? <laughs> uh, I don't think I have that redeem yet, but I can always put it in. Okay, inspect this cow. Is this cow sick? Is that our issue? Yeah, so that cow is also sick and pregnant. So, okay. Do I have any cows left who are not sick and pregnant? <laughs> what about you? Okay, I can do this one. Oh, is that right? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, so I still can't actually... Okay, I'm gonna force this calf to have the cow to have their calf. I don't think that they should have been pregnant. I'm pretty sure when I sold them, they weren't pregnant. So I'm just going to force her to delete that calf. Okay. I'm just going to pop this one over inside the pen, so technically that one can now eat as well. How is this cow currently? 
recently pregnant. <laughs> I'm so confused about what's happening in my game right now. Hello. Beth, would you be open to creating a new channel reward where we can redeem a fine love, where we can roll for a sim or two sims to start a relationship with no pressure to propose or get married? Um, maybe. I'll think about it. I think there's plenty of that kind of drama in the ROS already. So, I'm not sure. So, apparently this cow's still pregnant, even though I just forced it to have a calf. Um, can you just come in here for a sec? Okay, so force have calf. Now you should not be pregnant anymore. How are you still pregnant? Long range bull. Good morning, Joe. I'm just trying to figure out some weirdness with the cows <laughs> that are going on. We can't slaughter any of the cows. Uh, they're all sick, so... It's a little bit weird. Joke's on you, she's got backups. How does she have so many backups? I'm so confused. You can't slaughter sick cows. I know, I know, but this one's not sick. This one is saying it's pregnant. But we don't have... That's a heifer. That's a heifer. That's a heifer. That's a calf. Like, I've told this cow to have its baby, but apparently it's... It's still pregnant. <laughs> you know how cows have four stomachs? She has four wombs. So true. Oh. It happens with you two, the animal is still pregnant even after I force births. It only goes away after the 15 days end. <sighs> what if I reset the cow? I mean, I don't want to do this. I <laughs> if I do kill cow random, do we get the carcass or no? <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run an experiment here. Because we need to butcher the cow. If that's the case, then it's going to be basically impossible to, like, ever slaughter cows because, um, they're all going to be pregnant all the time. Oh, uh, no, see, that just, that just got rid of the cow, which I didn't want. Okay, let's just, uh, reload the lot. Buffering. Uh, let me check my stream stats. Um, okay, quality looks good on my end. So it must be you, Joe. I am sorry. <laughs> you, okay. Thank you. Thank you for confirming, y'all. I usually only have my butcheress slaughter males because females are always pregnant. Right. <coughs> Must be one attractive bull. I know, right? My brain buffers a lot, but the stream is fine. <laughs> same. Same, same, same. Um, I wonder if there's any way for me to get around this. I'm just thinking. Hang on, guys. Um, my brain is slowly turning over. It's Remember, it's still morning for me, and I've only had one coffee. So I'm just thinking, can I just buy out of the catalog a cow carcass? And then we'll pretty much just get rid of the live ones. I think she might need to trade out those cows for some males. She might... Yeah, she might need to do that, for sure. So we've got... Uh, lamb carcass. This is so... Like, I was worried... Okay, here we go. So, I can buy a carcass for 500 simoleons. 
out of the catalog. So what I could do is like just sort of cheat the money so it works out, if you know what I mean. So what I was going to do was put down two, two of the heifers. So if I was to do that, that one sells for 300, that one sells for 300. That'll do for now. I know, right? So yeah, we'll go sell, sell, and then we'll buy two carcasses. Oh, it's so sad. I'm sorry, cows. And then I've come up short 400 simoleons. So can I just go family funds? Well, see, plus 400. Yes, I can. Okay, okay. Here we go. I'm a genius. We've got a way around it. There we go. Yes. It's all right. I've got it. I figured it out, everybody. On the, I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, butcher livestock. <laughs> so I don't know if she could actually butcher them yet, though. What was the cook? Was it cooking skill that we needed to be able to butcher the animals? Yeah. But that isn't fun. <laughs> Maybe tell fire. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I get nervous about telling or like being like, hey, can you fix this? Um, because I don't want to be a pain. <laughs> and um, I think the cows are pretty complicated. But how is a carcass more expensive than a live cow? I don't get it. Yeah, depreciation. She wants to gain a skill point. I wonder. Um, let's obtain a writ of mastery. Have we done that? To be fair, they were sick, lol. Yay! A writ of mastery has been added to your inventory. Now I can butcher them. Okay. So, cattle. Oh, wait. Highland cattle. There we go. Okay, we got it. Woohoo! Hi, Charlotte. Good to see you. Oh, no worries. You're not late. Trust me, you have not missed much at all. Um, just got home from work. Did we finish the murder mystery? No. No, we did not finish the murder mystery. My plan is to stream the murder mystery uh, midweek. I was thinking of doing that Wednesday morning, which would be Tuesday night for most of you guys. Um, <coughs> we didn't even load all the houses. No, yeah, we still have a, like, over half of the neighborhood to meet. Um, we barely started, exactly. So, yeah, I was thinking about streaming that on Wednesday mornings for me. Um, and just seeing how that goes, because it's fun, and you guys seem to be pretty interested in it. So, that's my plan with that. Okay, now... She's butchering away. I do have to keep an eye on the street because, uh, oops, we don't have a Highland calf. We have to keep an eye out for an eligible male for Fenella to woohoo with, um, <laughs> whoever happens to walk by because a Malk wants to see Fenella get some lovin' and her social's a little bit low, so, you know, she could use some human interaction. Long way from solving it. Yep. <laughs> That'd be awesome, actually, a third stream midweek. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, and then, like, maybe occasionally we'll stream it on the weekends as well if I feel like it. Um, like, the reason I started streaming it last weekend was just I didn't really feel like playing, um, playing Midiville. So if that happens again, we can always go back to playing Arkelios. Oh uh, yeah, a Malk redeemed it in like with channel points. He re he redeemed a Let's Wahoo, so we have to find an eligible male to Wahoo with. So she has two bolts of attraction with um, a few men around town. She likes Rohan, who's married, Edward, who is single, and a romance sim. Um, Dunstan Bane, and I think he's married. Merle Bird is off at war. Ivar Bane, actually Dunstan might be single. And ready to mingle. And then Truman's at war. 
So maybe, and then she likes Stanley as well, but he's married and at war. So maybe if we run into Dunstan Bane, he would be a good option for us. Maybe. How do people usually work on solving the mystery? Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can use our smarts to figure it out. Have you ever played Cluedo? Yeah, check all the memories bios. She wants to throw a party? She does want to throw a party. That's a good point, Joe. Hello. Whoops. Oh, that's Ivar Bane. I'm pretty sure he's married. A butcher party. <laughs> well, tomorrow we'll be back down at the butchery store because it'll be market day Friday. Um, but we have today to hang out at home and do our thing. Which is cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna delete the bills. Okay, so let's just do a crossword and just keep an eye on the street still. Continue just watching. Party with cutting up beef. <laughs> it's alright, she's done all of the butchering she's gonna do for now. She's still got a few more animals in her inventory that she'll be able to uh, butcher to restock as needed. Sounds savan. <laughs> Maybe if there were other butchers in town, but I think she's the only one. So <laughs> I don't know that that would be uh, acceptable. Another thing I thought was interesting when I was watching the series on YouTube, Tales from Green Valley, um was that the butcher actually went out to people's houses to butcher um, their own, like, private animals so that they could eat for the winter. So, like, we could have Fenella do that. If, an, if a household has a cow or a pig um, that they want to eat for the winter, we could have Fenella go out there and actually butcher the animal for them um, so that that food then is that family is supplied with food for the winter so that would be another thing we could do which might be kind of cool okay we don't have any firewood awkward awkward because it's winter maybe we should go and buy some firewood from the weekly market plus i want to get out of the house so let's go to the weekly market She could attempt to invite over all eligible, eligible men she knows to the party. Although I'd guess they would need a phone. It's difficult to throw parties in the medieval era. This is, this is definitely true. I think the townies would turn up. I think. But I'm not sure. I have a scroll phone. Yeah, I have the scroll phone too. I do have that. We also have the Book of Invitation, but I think that's still a bit glitchy. I'm not sure it actually works proper. Okay. Yay, so we're here at the weekly market. Let's come over here and just buy some firewood. Let's get three bits. So we can actually light our fire for the winter. Yay, market day. It's actually not market day, it's Thursday. But the weekly market's actually open every day. That's the benefit of having a weekly market. Um, and we're also, of course, going to see who we can run into while we're here. Speaking of which, I mean, Edward Ware is here. And uh, he is technically eligible. And technically we like him. I don't know how we live before mobile phones. It was tough, man. Yes and no. It was just a different time. I just, I like, um... Yes, Rachems, that's correct. So that sim is this guy here. <laughs> He's pulling quite a face at the moment. This is Edward. He owns this, um, this lot, the weekly market, and the other sims in the neighbourhood uh, sell their bits and pieces to him. Like, the peasants in the neighbourhood sell their um, goods to him and he resells them at his market. Yeah, I love the market too. Lord, I wish we had this type of thing in Sims 3 and 4 because it adds a lot to the game. 
Mods. Mods for days. I think you could do something similar to this in um, Sims 3. Okay, so ooh, we have Dunstan Bane is here. Um, and we also have this guy, Camden Summers. Let's see if he is attractive. Because he's actually um, an eligible single townie as well. Um, can we just like uh, check him out? <laughs> Let's see. Hello, sir. Lovely to meet you. Oh, oh, we're networking. Oh, isn't this fun? Okay. Oh, our reputation's on the way up. Yeah, it is. Also, she's farting hearts over him, I think. So, hello. Uh, let's just check this sim out. Oh, she thinks he's very pretty. Excellent. Let's talk about cuisine and tell him a joke and admire him and tell a story about sports. What are we actually like? Oh, we don't know what our hobby is. Okay. I know you're shopping, but I really want to speak to you. So if you could stop shopping. Oh, she hasn't got any bolts with him, but she definitely thought he was attractive. This is a speed dating site. <laughs> nice. I was trying to figure out how to do that in my game. I have an artisan market I built, but I uh, was trying to work out how to make multiple sims with good sell their stuff there. Yeah, it's tricky. It is definitely tricky. He might be romance. He might. I don't actually remember what his um, what his aspiration was. Sims will show hearts for romance sims. Okay. Well, we do also have this guy over here, Dunstan. He's um, he's someone we actually do have two bolts of attraction with. Speed dating. <laughs> 1400s, yep. I mean, Edward would be a good option for us as well, though. He is our neighbour. He is a romance sim. And I feel like it would be kind of fun to just, you know, have a little bit of drama between Fenella and Edward. Um, I can, I can kind of see that happening. That there would be some drama between those two. A little bit of fireworks, a little bit of chemistry. If they have that super attractive benefit... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he wouldn't have that. It's called Massive Attraction, I think. He wouldn't have that because I wouldn't have given him any of his um, aspiration rewards because he's just a townie. So I think we'll have to take a vote here, you guys. You'll have to vote on who you would like me to pursue for a, a cheeky, casual woohoo with Fenella. She's not after anything serious. Um, so I will just quickly put up a poll. Because polls are fun. Um, so. Let's go new poll. Who should Vanilla woohoo? So we've got Camden Summers. So that's the townie we were just meeting. We've got Edward Ware. I'll just put in brackets townie. Edward Ware, who's the market owner. And then we have uh, Dunstan... Bane, who's also a townie. Okay, we're going to run this poll for 10 minutes, so you got heaps of time to vote. Heaps of time to vote. You have it set as a goal for Nara to wank up to nobility. <laughs> She'll be an excellent noble. Hey, Dunstan. He's coming over to say hello. So this is Dunstan Bane. He's one of the options in the, in the, in the poll. Um, who we do have two bolts of attraction with. So remember, this is not serious. This is not a relationship. Fennel is not quite ready for a relationship or to settle down yet. But she does want to have some fun. We're going to have to leave soon because we're going to start stinking and that's going to put everybody off. Speaking of Nara, there she is. Okay, 
It's late. Let's go home. Um, okay, walked a lot back home. It's late. We smell. We need to get the fire going and make some dinner. To me, Nara deserves the world. <laughs> Are you going to have her become queen one day, Amalk? She would be a very interesting queen. I think she has like a, a royalty face. I can see that for her. Who's winning the poll? Oh, Dunstan's winning the poll so far. Okay. Excellent. Good to know. And I also, oh my gosh, I picked this up. I was watching Kristen's stream the other day. Uh, thank you for this, historicals demo. I did not realize, but there's actually an inventory tool that we can give the Sims so they automatically light and maintain fires. And I was like, oh, that'll make my life easier. So I was going to go ahead and give one of those to... Fenella, because <laughs> I just didn't even realize that was a thing. Um, but so yeah, the Sun and Moon fire set comes with uh, a couple of different inventory tools. And it comes with this, fireplace poker. Place this item in a Sims inventory so they will automatically light and maintain fires. Isn't that amazing? So if I give her this, she should automatically keep the fires going in her house for winter, which is amazing. I should give that to all of my sims when it's winter time <laughs> and then we won't have to worry about manually lighting the fires or having enough ash for our gong pit. Oh yeah, does she have a dustpan and broom also? I might give it one of those two. There we go. Alright honey, you need to bathe, I know. Collect some water. You live for the fireplace auto tools, they make life so much easier. Yeah, I just didn't even realize that there was one for the fireplaces. Like, I knew there was some for... I knew there was the dustpan and broom, and I knew there was some for farming. But I didn't realize there was one to have them light the fires. I was like, that's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. And yeah, for like a maid, to give to a maid so they just constantly keep the fires going. <sighs> Most Sun and Moon sets come with auto tools. Provided you actually let your sims go and do things without controlling their every mood. <gasps> Why you gotta come at me like that, Shadow? <laughs> Just because I'm a micromanager. Jeez. <laughs> I feel seen. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Oh my gosh. I know, yeah. <laughs> self roast Yeah. I'm not actually offended. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Not offended. That was a joke. <laughs> oh dear. Keep an eye on the street just in case Dunstan walks by. Otherwise, we've got a few more days to fulfill this woohoo desire. So I'm not in a huge hurry. So I'll get her to have some stew for dinner. We all stare at Beth. Lol, what's the opposite of a micromanager? Because that's me. Half my sims are just running around feral. <laughs> oh, you're a chaotic simmer. And you wonder why Penny is the way she is. <laughs> you discipline your sims with a good long cue. Uh-huh. That's called hands off. Yeah. Sorry. Gotta pull my cats into this. <laughs> Shadow's coming at us with the barbs today, Kristen. She's just like... Hey, hey, poke, 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 poke. <laughs> rudeness, absolute rudeness. Cats disagree. <laughs> it, oh no, I know, I know, Shadow, it's okay. Teasing is okay. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, the quick wit is good, for sure. I um, <coughs> I feel like though, especially hands off style gameplay is a lot better for larger families. Like right now, I've literally got this one sim that I'm controlling, um, so it's like it's really easy to just micromanage her and just focus on her. But if, like, if we're playing the Highlands, for example, where there's freaking ten, ten sims on the lot, 
then it's a lot harder to micromanage. <laughs> so it's better in that situation to be a hands-off simmer and just let the Sims do whatever they want. Teasing is a national Australian sport. So true. Do you use the macro mod? I don't. I can't remember what mod it was conflicting with, but I had a mod conflict. Um, I really would like to get it working, so I might look back into it. Um, who's this? Who's this? Oh, that's Nancy. Okay. Because I would really like to be able to use macro clean for my maids. Um, I think that would be really nice. So, yeah. I would like to figure out what it was conflicting with. Yeah, it changed my maids' lives. Yeah, see, that would be so helpful for when I'm playing with maids. So I might see if I can get it working. Oh, do you know what I think it was? I think it was some of my open for business mods. It was it was not playing nicely with my open for some of my open for business mods. Um, I'm actually trying to be more hands off in my Sims because they have more personality when they do things of their own volition. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, right now I think Fenella can probably just go to bed. It's kind of late. Yes, the servant trade is good. Yeah, 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 it is. Um, agreed. <laughs> I know Shadow, yeah. That's, yes, it is, in Kristen's stream, Shadow's always like, Kristen, check the pregnant lady. <laughs> check the needs. I get distracted watching my Sims and enjoying their autonomous shenanigans. Yeah, fair enough. Can you have, like, only parts of macro installed? Like, can I just have, like, macro clean and nothing else? <laughs> shenanigans are fine until the pregnant lady nearly dies. <laughs> Yes, no, we don't want any pregnant lady deaths. That that would be very sad. Okay, honey, time to get up. Is there a dog destroying my flowers? Excuse me, Bonkers. Oh my gosh, his name is Bonkers. How cute is that? You need to go ahead and um, run off to the gypsy camp. Because the gypsy camp is where you are welcome. Oh, I saw a cool mod yesterday as well. Um... Which I want to download because we want to create some werewolves in the gypsy camp, right? And I saw a mod that was... I'd never even seen before. It's like an old mod and I just hadn't seen it before. But it was basically werewolves don't become werewolves every night. You can choose how often they become werewolves. Whether it's like once every three days, once a week or once a month or something. And I was like, oh, that's brilliant. Because I don't like that the werewolves turn into werewolves every single night. So I'm going to download that mod. It's going to be great. Nearly dies every two minutes. <laughs> Joe, you're funny. Let's see what she does. Is she going to feed herself? Is she going to do something to have some fun? She's going to view the statue of uh, the Watcher. This is what Fenella Welsey chooses to do for fun if I leave it hands off. They are really only meant to turn at full moon. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, I'm going to have her have some breakfast. Because she needs to eat so she can go down to the market. Okay, so Dunstan Bain has won the poll for who we should woohoo. So we'll have to see if we run into him at the store today, at the butchery. That would be really convenient. And then we could maybe, like improve our relationship and give him an invitation to call on us this evening something like that can you link that werewolf mod in discord when you find it again yes i will i will i will i will also charlotte if you're still in chat was it you who wanted julia hero as a sims 2 sim i was trying to remember who requested that because i remembered yesterday literally yesterday i'm so sorry brain blame my pregnancy brain if someone had requested Okay, I'm going to write that down. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. So get Julia Hero extracted for Shala. 
Okay, I've written that down. When I'm streaming and someone like asks for stuff, <laughs> if I don't write it down, it's gone. It's like out of my brain. It's terrible. Oh, thank you for understanding. I will get that for you this weekend though. I've written it down now, so it's fine. Sims 2 is a cakewalk compared to Sims 1. Uh-huh. Sims 1 is really hard, guys. If you haven't played The Sims 1, go ahead and play The Sims 1 and try not to let your Sims die. I need to get back to that LP on YouTube too. Very cheap fun is the kitty drawing or the flamingo. Yep. Okay, so we've grabbed a barrel of water. Now is there anything else we should do before we head off for the day? The cows are fine. Yeah, you guys are fine. I'll have this calf grow up maybe tomorrow, I think. It's probably been a calf for long enough already, but we'll see how we do. Oh, I should have her get dressed. <laughs> Change into your everyday love and add any dirty piles of laundry to your, to your laundry hamper. I agree with Joe. Oh, hang on, I'm missing stuff. I can't believe I didn't know that observing art and wall hangings improved fun until like two days ago. It, it improves it a lot as well. Like, a lot, a lot. But yeah, I agree with Joe. I watched other players with Sims in the Red going into aspiration failure and I'm like, how does that even happen? <laughs> Sims 1 is your favourite. It's the simplicity. It's so hard. Like, because I do actually play it fairly regularly. <laughs> it's amazingly hard. What amazes me about it is that I played it when I was a little kid. You know, like I was like a little, little bambino, like an eight year old playing The Sims 1 and my Sims never died. I don't understand how I did that. <laughs> like, <coughs> like I just, I'm amazed with myself. I'm like, wow, props to me. Okay, we're going to go to our butcher shop. Here we go. The jump from, I'm hoping traits and historical gameplay would bring some difficulty to my game. Oh, they will, Shadow. Yeah, I've been Max Sims 2 over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely agree with you, but yes, definitely um, historical gameplay adds extra challenge for sure. If you use things like the Fetch Water mod, um, and it's harder, I find, to keep their aspirations high in the medieval era. Um, that's what I find anyway. Whoop! Lag. Okay. We're not open for business yet, which is great. I want to, oh my gosh, look at our poor store. We've got just nothing even for sale in here. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's just pop these down here. We've also got some eggs to sell because we've been gifted with some lovely eggs. So we might as well go ahead and sell some eggs. There we go. Okay, and then we've got two cattle parcels. Oh my gosh, look at how big those are. There's going to be a lot in those. So I'm going to open all of our parcels. And then we're going to stock our shelves before we actually open up for business today. Oh, I loved The Sims 2 immediately. Immediately. Oh, you're here even though we're not open? Okay, sure. I guess we'll go ahead and open the business then. <laughs> sure. Herb in your uberhood just died? R.I.P. There is no greater challenge than attempting to take care of a sim with a grumpy trait. Just perpetual red everywhere. Uh-huh. Yes, and the ROS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. We should have a lot of stuff now for stuff restocking our shelves. Okay, yes we do. So I'm gonna grab, oh, another chicken. We've got some animal lard. Ooh. We've got cattle horns. I don't know what we would sell cattle horns for, but that seems fun. Um, so I want to make sure we've got, okay, so we've got ribs, excellent, and we've got steak, excellent. That's right, I need some kind of like tray for these to sit on. We've also got brisket. These shelves have so many slots, I love them. 
We've got roast. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We've got raw ground meat. So you get a lot from butchering your cows, y'all. Like heaps. Let's put that on the bottom shelf, actually. Let's put that there. We've got cattle hide. There we go. And then, yeah, we've got cattle horns, apparently. <laughs> yes, yeah, streaming, yeah. Streaming does make everything harder, for sure. Okay. What are these? Oh, we've got chicken feet. Ew. I don't know who's gonna wanna buy chicken feet, but I guess we'll sell them. If it comes from an animal, we'll sell it. Okay. We've got bones, we've got animal organs. What is this? Raw sausages. Oh my gosh, we have sausages as well. I'll buy them chicken feet are so yummy. Oh my gosh, I've been watching <laughs> an old Australian TV show. Joe and Jetsat will know it. Probably no one else will. But Kath and Kim. And in Kath and Kim, um, Kath really likes her chicken feet too. <laughs> uh. You love that show, sir? It's so good. It's so funny. It's, it's amazing though, because so like... Obviously, it's been around for a long time. And I've been aware of it for a long time. But I never liked it um, when I was younger. I thought it was really cringe. I thought it was really gross. I didn't like it at all. And now I watch it as an adult. And I'm like, this is comedy genius. This is so funny. But it's just like making fun of just Australian culture. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> Cattle horns could be like light sconces, maybe. At least in Skyrim, that's what it's used for. Nice. Oh my god, why are you. <laughs> Vanilla Wellsy has just dropped to the ground and started uh, singing to Karlstad Harrelson, which is interesting. Well, so clearly she needs to get some woohoo out of her system, guys. She's feeling it. She needs she needs to release her pent up romantic. <laughs> She's getting inappropriate. She needs to let it all out. Oh yeah. Hey, I don't think I actually set no I didn't. Um I did not actually set everything for sale, lol. Well, um So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay, and that, and that. There we go. Everything is for sale for cheap right now because we're only rank one. So I don't tend to upgrade it to being set for average until we're like level three or four. I've never tried an apocalypse challenge. I don't really know what that's like. You're playing an asylum challenge. Lots of chaos there. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh oh. Ring up these customers. Our hatch is open. Oh, no, it's not. We've got that. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, are you blocking me, Carlstad? No, you're not. Okay, it's fine. It's both the most frustrating and the funniest thing to watch players struggle with toddlers. <laughs> yup. Sims 2 is really easy, and if I watch someone who can't play, I want to reach in and fix their game. Oh, Joe. I get like that sometimes. It's only easy if you pay attention. Okay, her cash register skill must be quite low at this point to be taking this long to serve the customers, but that's all right. I only get that way if they don't know how to play, but it's only because I'm so familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Um, yeah. Let's basic sell to Karlstad since we seem to like him so much. Everybody just loves Karlstad Harrelson. Hey, Charlene. G 
Good to see you. Charlene belongs to the ladies' boarding house. She thinks Timothy is really gross. That's cool. I think Charlene is someone we're working on um, for romance. We're trying to get her a husband. Get her moved out from memory. But Charlene is our local florist. She actually does flower arrangements and sells them to the market. So the Sims can potentially brighten up their homes with some beautiful flower arrangements. Mm hmm I think the thing that frustrates me the most is probably um, if I see a simmer who's really familiar with The Sims 4 then try to play The Sims 2 without knowing what they're doing and they're like, oh this game's like, everyone says it's so good but it's just not that good and it's like, no darling, you just don't know how to play. <laughs> I think that's what, I think that frustrates me more than anything else, <laughs> which is probably really harsh, <laughs> but that's, I think that's probably what really grinds my gears. <laughs> yeah, I can't send to this furniture. It's like, yes, yes, you can. There is a way. Go <laughs> tie, you'll snap objects off. <laughs> you can name names. I know who you're talking about. I don't, I don't name names. I don't, I don't, I don't name names. That's not, that's not what I do here. If you know, you know. Why is this game so hard? Because TS4 is very easy in comparison. Exactly. <laughs> Shh, Malk. But it's also, it's like, we name no names. It's also if they're like a prominent, like, Sims 2, like, oh no, sorry, not Sims 2. A prominent Sims streamer and like lots of people, you know, like listen to them and respect them and value their opinions on stuff. And I'm just like, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> that just makes me so upset. <laughs> like, I love people like James, James Turner, Samaj Flabaliki, Sim Supply. He actually played The Sims 2, <laughs> so he actually gets it. And it's like, he respects it and likes it. And I'm like, yes, James, <laughs> you are, you are, you are good. We like James. James knows, exactly. What boggles me is when they go into Sims 2 and it's like they've never seen a needs panel in their life. <laughs> True. Plumbella knows. Yes, Plumbella knows. Plumbella is a queen. We love Plumbella. Okay, got to ring up these customers. I'm interested to see how much money we'll make today. We've made 324 simoleons so far, which is good. And like these animal products, I think I need to uh, edit in SimPE. So you'll notice that our cheap sausages, cheap beef, cheap steaks, cheap ribs are selling for 74 simoleons so i don't think that's gonna fly beth when was the last time you played the sims 4 that's a good question amalk um To be fair, when I have tried to play Sims 4, I'm so lost. How do I call my friends? Why is this guy in my house? <laughs> True. Um, no, Joe, you don't go to a fridge in other games. Um, I'm trying to remember, Amalk. I don't remember. I don't remember when the last time I played it was. It would have been, like, earlier last year sometime. Um... Yeah, last year at some point I was having some fun playing a 100 baby challenge. I got to like 20 something kids and then I was like, yeah, okay, I'm over this now. In Sims 4, 3 and 4 you just click the baby and choose speed. Yes. Bottle chaos is not a thing. Having to bathe the baby in the sink is not a thing. 
Yeah. You also, um... There's no, like, diapers all over the ground either, which kind of makes me sad. That's kind of one of my favourite things, is when there's diapers all over the ground. <laughs> I'm interested to try that keyboard shortcut mod by Lazy Duchess. Yeah, see, I think that is a really cool mod, but I don't think I need it because I have uh, testing cheats enabled true constantly on in my game, uh, which means I can, if I ever need to solve a need, I can just do this. So I'll just take that back down to where it was. So yeah, I don't really feel the need to get that mod. It's cool, but I don't feel the need to have it. And if I'm like thinking about getting a new mod, I have to think about whether or not it's really necessary because I <laughs> really don't want to overwhelm my game with too many mods. I'm like, eh, I already have so many. Okay. Woohoo, we got a silver... Uh, register talent badge, which is really good. We're gonna close our business now. It's 4 p.m. Unfortunately, we did not run into Dunstan Bane today. Um, it would have been really nice if we had run into him to be able to invite him over. Our other option, as always, is to do what we were doing a lot with... Was it Edward? And, uh, send, his, send Fenella to the tavern tonight on a Friday night to see if we can run into our our man that we want to woohoo with, so that could be a fun thing to do. Hey, Warrior Queen! It's going well, thank you! Good to see you! I like the concept, it just sends Sims to go take care of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sims 2 is a game of pick your fights and pick your mods. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know what it'll clash with, I don't know if it's worth it, I don't know if it's really necessary, so I'm probably just gonna leave it, but... I also never cheat needs, pretty much. No, I can't say that. I can't say that. I very rarely cheat needs. I will use the Sim Blender to go up or down energy or food. I've done it with hygiene, I think, a couple of times here in <laughs> here in the medieval charter challenge, which is really dodgy. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, oh, and we got a bronze restocking talent badge. Nice. That's really good. If I want them to have a family meal, you will lower hunger so they all go and eat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. What class does a sim in the neighborhood have to be to get a wedding dress for their wedding? For me, merchantry and up, or if a yeoman woman is marrying a merchant. Yeah, I think that makes sense, Amalk. I haven't really got, like, a rule about it, to be honest, but I think what you're saying makes sense. Okay, so we made, uh, 479 simoleons today. Not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and pop that in our tracker spreadsheet. So I'm just going to pop that in for day, what day is it? Day five. Yeah. Um, what did I say? Oh my gosh, I've already forgotten. 479. Okay, cool. I cheat energy to make active sims sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, we're going to have her walk home and freshen up. What's your problem? Go and walk home. You need to use the bathroom and then we'll go out for dinner and we'll see if we can run into Dunstan Bane. I have a mod that lets me put sims to sleep regardless of their energy levels. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. Or if you get up at 3 a.m. to feed the baby, you should be tired now. Uh, go back to bed. Yeah. Yeah. That is something that I will also cheat. If a sim gets up in the middle of the night, I'll lower their energy so I can put them back to bed. For sure. I definitely do that a lot.
It's like all of the um, energy fulfillment stats on all of the beds in the game need to be set to like one. <laughs> one or two. Oh, hello. What are you doing here, Lindell? I mean, good to see you, but I'm sorry, I'm not home. Penguin! Anise McDowell is no longer a family friend. Oh no, we need to see if we can rekindle that relationship because Anise is the leader of the female knights. So we need to get back into being friends with her. <laughs> yes, Joe, I know what you mean. It is very annoying. That'll usually only happen if both sims have full energy though. So if you're like worried about it you can always just tank one of the sims's energy so they don't wake up you usually use energy three beds mm. how are my cows how are you guys doing oh you're out of food and water again oh my gosh that's not ideal okay i'll sort you guys out just hold on a second Don't die, little cows. Don't die. Mama's coming. Mama's coming, I promise. There you go, little buddies. I'm sorry about that. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go out for dinner, so enjoy yourselves, and um, I'll see you later. You need that barrel shower? That would still take three buckets of water in the inventory, though, wouldn't it? I have it in the game. I just don't use it. Actually, I think I have it... I think I have the barrel shower in my... Um, gypsy camp. I think the gypsies have the barrel shower. Is that historically accurate? Did they have barrel showers in the Middle, e in the middle Ages? Or is that just something that our modern brains have gone? Yeah, they theoretically could have done this, so let's give them barrel showers. With our modern... Do you have a cold? No, I don't. I just have a stuffy nose. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's probably really annoying. I just love the aesthetic of stabbing a barrel and calling it a shower. <laughs> don't think so. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's just a, um, vitamin C, D, and zinc. Yeah. Don't worry about me, I'm alright. Okay. Let's go ahead and sign in. And then hopefully Kelsey or, there she is, Constantine will refresh the food so we can actually, uh, Eight. That would be that would be nice. Okay, I'm just gonna make you selectable for a minute, and I'm gonna have you not play poker. That's all anyone ever wants to do on this lot is sit down and play poker. Highly doubt it. They would wash in a basin, or if wealthy, a bath. They might have a bath house. I think there's a default for that ticket thing, so you don't have to fiddle with that. Poker is trending. If that's the case, please do link it in my Discord because I would really enjoy not having to fiddle uh, with the ticket machine every time I come to this lot. That would be quite nice. Showers only became a thing when there was indoor plumbing and even then I think they took a while, 20th century sometime. Right. So it is one of those things where we've been like, well, this makes sense in our modern, modern brains. Because, yeah, if they've just, like, never seen a shower before, like, ever, in their lives, or experienced something like a shower, why would they even have thought to do that? <gasps> Guess who's here? The man of the hour, Mr. Dunstan Bane, has come down to the hedge tavern. Brilliant. I am quite happy about this. Let me just finish my dinner and I will be right with you, my darling. Don't you go anywhere. Just stay right here. No reason why a barrel couldn't be filled in some kind of stopper pulled out. 
Yeah, so there's no reason why it would be impossible. It's just... Would they have even thought of that? Okay, I need you to not play poker because I want to talk to you. Hello? It's me, Fenella. Good to see you. Uh, let's admire. Let's do a joke. Let's do a gossip. Let's talk about cuisine. Let's do a... I don't know. Let's just, let's just be friends. Let's also do a tell a story about sports, because we like sports. Hi, Teeny! Good to see you! Rain. That's true. But would they have even, like, showered in the rain or bathed in the rain? I don't know. So, to catch anybody up who's not sure what's going on, uh, Amalk redeemed a channel reward, which was time to woohoo. Oh, Helene needs her outfit fixed. Oh dear, that's okay. We'll worry about that another time. Um, so Fenella is just hunting down a man to scratch an itch for some casual fun. Um, so let's... And we decided on Dunstan Bay and this eligible night townie dude here. Must be time for a screenshot. All right then. I'm going to have to stop in a minute and go and blow my nose though because I'm... Oops. Wrong button. I'm driving myself mental. Oops, hang on. Go away, Beverly. With my, uh, my sniffing right now. So I will take a break in a minute to go and refill my water and get a tissue. For my issues. Okay, there we go. Screenshot redeemed. There you go. I saw, I saw Shady. The first shower was patented, patented in 1767. Nice. I had no idea it was so early. Oh, we're going out to play catch? Okay, sure. Didn't they think bathing too often was unhealthy? Probably until the Victorian era. And then then there was a there was a change, there was a movement, which was cleanliness is next to godliness. And I think that came from the monks. I think that came from the church. Because the monks realized that disease and infection was uh, made worse by Poor hygiene. Ooh, Anise McDowell's here as well. Okay, we're just going to stop playing catch for a minute because I want to go and chat with Anise. Um, because we want to be friends with Anise. Then they scrub themselves raw. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Not sure what uh, one you have, but there's a default version and a cover. That supposedly doesn't interfere with the function of the machine. Yeah, so this is a cover shadow. It's like, and I can't, yeah, I can't actually click on the machine at all. So it's quite annoying. <laughs> so I would like something better. Or maybe it's the same of being a ponce, we'll see. Don't know, yeah. Okay, there we go. Friendship with Anise has been restored. Excellent. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do like a tiny little flirt with Dunstan before we leave and invite him to come and call on us uh, sometime in the next few days. Just to drop by, you know, if he has time, maybe. And uh, we'd love to see him. There we go. Okay, now we're going to call it a night because we are quite tired and we've had a very busy day. And I don't think Fennel is the type of sim who would go upstairs and woohoo in the in the upstairs beds in the tavern. Um, I just don't really see that as being her. Also, Oswin Cloy, the minister, has just walked into the hedge tavern on a Friday night. Talk about a killjoy. Oh my gosh. He's going to poop that party. The same page says that showers in a bathroom were still considered a luxury in England in the 1960s? Really? Oh my goodness. They were probably... Standard by then in the US because houses were bigger. Is that right? Although I did read that when white people landed in the Americas, the natives thought they stunk because they were much cleaner from regular bathing in rivers. <laughs> Is that right? Europeans coming from cold climates probably didn't bathe very much. Oh, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Isn't that interesting? I find history fascinating. 
I don't know about you guys. I mean, I know historical cinema finds history fascinating. <laughs> Looks like she left at the right time. She did. She was like, the minister's here and I'm getting flirty and I want to woohoo with someone and I'm not married. <laughs> I'm out. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, dear. She's like, I don't want to get in trouble. I lived in a nice neighborhood in a middle-sized US city in early 70s, two bathrooms, but no showers, only tubs. It was a new house in 71. Wow. Man, life has changed a lot in the last 50 years, hasn't it? Isn't that crazy when you stop and think about that? Like, just in your lifetime, Sandy, like how much has life changed? Whoa. Anyway, okay, I'm going to save real quick. We're going to take a little little five-minute break, guys. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. I'm going to blow my nose, and I'm going to refill my water bottle. So if you guys need a snack, if you need a little breaky break, um, go ahead and take that now, and I will be back in... We do shower a lot more now, my guess is because it's faster. Yeah, it's way faster. Um, how did I live without Google? How did we all live without Google? That's the real question. But yeah, I'm going to take five. Um, and then I'll be right back, hopefully, with a less stuffy nose, okay? So, here we go. I'll be back in five. Bye, y'all.
I'm back. Oh my gosh, you guys have been chatting while I've been gone. What did I miss? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Encyclopedias. Yeah, we had a huge set of encyclopedias. That was how I googled stuff when I was a kid, <laughs> in the nineties. My daughter and husband are hoping to get pregnant soon. She asked me how I handled all the conflicting info about pregnancies when I had kids. There was no internet. I didn't know anything other than what my mum and my doctor told me, lol. Simpler times, Sandy. Simpler times. Oh my gosh. I'm sure there were still books, though. Would there have been books on babies? When you were, when you were raising babies? I remember reading my grandparents' horribly outdated encyclopedia to look for answers to questions pre-Google. Uh-huh. Internet has made people aware, but also brought in poor, more predators and conflicting information. Uh-huh. False information and fear-mongering. Yep. Yep. I remember not being allowed to use internet sources on papers in school. Yes, me too, Sir Falafelot. Yeah, I remember not being allowed to do that. And then there was like a switch when I started high school and the internet started to become more acceptable. That So that was in 2005, I want to say. Yeah. Got to be so careful with your kids, online predators. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like... We'll have to be really careful to protect our kids with the internet, for sure. I was thinking that when we were, because we were having that chat in um, mod chat about like just random friend requests and random ads from people and just thinking about how important it will be to just ed like educate your kids and be like, don't accept a random friend request if you do not know the person. <laughs> just don't do that. <laughs> People these days like to say how much more enlightened they are than us oldies, but honestly, it felt safer. Yeah. Hey, Trollosaurus. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, pregnancy books. Dr. Spock was still popular. Dr. Spock? Like Spock, like live long and prosper. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I had what to expect when you're expecting and then raising boys because I only had one sister, no brothers and had no clue. I would need a book on how to raise a boy. Definitely. Oh, no worries, Hendrik. Is everything okay? Couples counsellor for your sister and, and boyfriend? Your sister and your boyfriend or her boyfriend. <laughs> it was rough, but now I'm back. I'm glad you're back. An actual doctor. <laughs> I didn't think it would be Spock. Like, Spock from the movies. Oh, that's why it's not playing. Okay. I have, but yes, I have tea. I have lemon and ginger tea. And I also have yogurt. Because, like, ever since that other stream where I think it was Shadow was talking about yogurt. Mm, can't get enough of yogurt, man. So good. Dr. Spock was huge. Her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you meant. <laughs> Your sister and your boyfriend. I'm like, uh, Hedrick? <laughs> His book was referred to as the Parenting Bible. Is that right? I have one book so far, which is called Up the Duff. It's a book on pregnancy. Um, very Australian. And it's quite hilarious. And then she, that, that author's also written a, uh, okay, the baby's born, now what? Which I also do plan on getting. Um... <laughs> Up the duff, by the way, is an Australian slang term for being pregnant. So I like it, though, because it's actually, like, based in Australia and talks about things like Medicare and things like our, our Australian health system and, you know, what to do and what avenues are available to you, what routes you can go down as a pregnant woman in Australia. It's very modern. It's up to date. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, and then, yeah, I'll get I'll get her... I've got a baby now what book as well because I like the way she writes and I think it's going to be helpful. Okay, we're up. It is a cold, cold winter's day. I hope our cows are okay out there. Let's go ahead and use the water closet. Collect some water. Dr. Spock and Mr. Spock are different people. Okay. <laughs> So today, 
I mean, we could go down and open up our business again today. I think I might. Um, and just have it be an extra day of trading. And then um, we'll be closed on Sunday, of course, because we're a good, uh, faithful citizen. But I would like to, I would like to have her earn just a little bit more money um, and try to sell off a bit more of her beef. We also do have a couple more chickens we, that, that we can butcher. So I think that would be good. Um, because we haven't actually made that much money yet with Vanilla Wealthy. Um, so far we've made an income of 712 simoleons and we are paying a lot more than that for our cows. So I may have to rethink my pricing system for Fenella buying cows off of the other people in town because if she's not making back enough money from selling their innards, we might have to make it a bit cheaper for her to, to buy the cows. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. You getting buffering? Oh, bugger. Just hit refresh, Jet Set. Oh my gosh, I wanted to show you guys this as well. So my mum-in-law, Kathy, bless her. She's like an absolutely beautiful human being. She came over for lunch the other day and she's so excited about Jelly because obviously Paul was her only son. He's almost 40. He's like her only hope of ever having a grandkid. And finally, she's got a grandbaby on the way. So she's so excited about her, her grandbaby. And um, so she keeps just buying us little, little things. So this, you can't see some of it. So like this wing is green, not black. But she bought us this like little, little toy and it jangles and it's so cute. It's like this little caterpillar butterfly. I'm like, oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, everything like this part as well. This is actually green, like bright green. It's not black. Sorry. But yeah, how cute is this? <laughs> the dogs love it. The dogs are like, oh, toy? So we're, we're starting to train. Yes, Shady, exactly. So we're trying to start training the dogs into an awareness of not yours, <laughs> mine, <laughs> not yours, um, which is going to be challenging, but I think we can do it. Oh, good. She lit the fire. Okay, I'm going to get her to just have a wash in front of the fire this morning. If I can find a bucket of water. Hello? There we go. A friend of mine had a secret baby room with stuff waiting for a grandbaby. Aww. <laughs> I mean, that's cute, but at the same time, like, it's nice to buy some of your own stuff for your own incoming child. But yeah, Kathy's so excited. She's so cute. And she's, um... No, not yet, Shadow. Not yet. The wooing and the hooing will probably be tonight. We're going to go back to the butchery today and make a little more money. Um, but yeah, Kathy's bag's buying us a stroller. She's like, I'm buying you guys a stroller. That's going to be a, that's going to be my thing. I'm going to get you that. I want to do that for you. And we're like, okay, Kathy, <laughs> whatever you like. That reminds me of the Saturday Night Live skit where some older ladies were doing a commercial for like home goods. And wait, I'll finish reading that in a second. We're going to walk down to our butchery. Uh, home goods and they ask them what they want most this holiday season and both are like grandbabies <laughs> grandbabies <laughs> mm -hmm. the dogs will love it when jelly is at the testing gravity stage everything gets dropped or thrown to the floor uh oh well jelly's gonna have to learn that that's a dangerous thing to do when there's dogs around because jelly will lose her toys their toys his toys I don't know their toys Yeah, yeah, Sandy. I, I understand the, the want to buy stuff, but it's just like... Like, my mum bought us a, um, a changing table. That's interesting. Um, yeah, for Christmas. So we have a change table now in our room that might, might become the nursery. We're not sure yet. No worries, Joe. My sister is the grandbaby provider for my parents. <laughs> Fair enough. See, I thought that was going to be my life, but then uh, my two older sisters, one of them got a divorce last, or separated from her husband last year, and the other one um, has unfortunately not had any luck getting pregnant, so we're not sure it's really ever going to happen for her. 
Um, okay. So I was just thinking it might be good to have a butcher station here in our shop. I don't know why that's doing that. It's really annoying. Um, so that we can butcher things here as well as at home. So I'm just going to pop that up here in our loft. And I'm going to have her try to open the business. And then we will let the customers browse and do their thing. And we will come up and just butcher a couple more chickens. And hopefully the customers will be able to amuse themselves downstairs while we do that. Check the roof. Okay. I mean, there's like clearly flooring above it. Like clearly. We do have, we have deco roofs uh, in this lot. So like that's a decorative roof piece. Which does seem to be a little glitchy, but it should be working. So yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. I can't wait for 10 years from now when your kid is like, Mum, why do your weird friends online keep calling me Jelly? <laughs> uh, it's okay. Oh. Oh no, I, I have to actually... Oh. Sorry, chickens. Sorry, chickens. Uh... My bad. Nah, I'll explain it to them. I'll be like, because you were you were our jelly. We were peanut butter and you're our jelly. You made our lives complete and then jelly will be all happy. Probably because it's so close to the edge of the lot within two tiles. Oh, okay. How annoying. So yeah, hopefully these guys will just suit themselves down here and just buy whatever they want to buy and we won't have to worry too much about it because we got to do some butchering real quick. So we can keep our supply of chicken in stock. Oh cool, Wilton bought a bag of feathers. Okay, and he's still shopping. So we can continue our butchering. What did you buy, Harlow? Piece of meat. Excellent. I would actually kind of prefer that Harlow not be allowed to come to this lot because he's gentry and I don't know how likely it is that the gentry would be coming in to do their own butcher shopping. Should I ban Harlow Bird from this lot after he pays for his stuff and not let him come back? Maybe. Okay, we butchered our chickens. Oh my gosh, she has a lot of stuff in her inventory. Boop. Okay, we're going to open, open, open. Then we're going to come downstairs and actually pay attention to our store. Before they were born, my son was Scooter and my daughter was Hot Rod. <laughs> Can you tell their dad was a car enthusiast? Yes. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I hope that she feels better soon. Poor Sarah. Made her some electrolyte drink. Is it a tummy thing? I somewhat was always Hendrick because my father really wanted a boy after having two daughters and two stepdaughters. I'll bet he did. I'll bet he did. Yeah, I was looking back through my, my baby book the other day. Um, and my name was going to be Adam if I was a boy. And I think mum and dad were like hoping for a boy when I was coming because they had already had two daughters, but sorry. I'm guessing she'd eaten nothing today. Oh, rough. <laughs> Shadow. Yep. Agreed. 100% agreed. Rank two! How exciting. Okay. I think I'm going to get um, Vanilla to go up this tree so she can do really good sales. Um, I usually go for wholesale discount, but that really doesn't ap apply to us that much because we are selling things that we sort of like craft ourselves. So I'm going to get Assess Mood um, and then we might go ahead and get Assess Desire eventually as well. 
Um, okay, we have to ring up some customers. Oh, we've got such epic music for our day at the butchery day today. Okay, Robin, yeah, I am actually going to ban you from this lot. I don't actually want my gentry sims coming and shopping here. If someone, if the gentry want animal products, they can send their servant. So, oh, where's, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the visitor controller? It's, it's right there. Okay, so I'm going to <sighs> ban, oh, there it is, specific sim, Robin. And then once Harlow's checked out, I'll ban him from coming back as well. Sorry, Robin, you can't be here. Also, hiding sweets and eating them once your kids are in bed. <laughs> That'll be me. I know, yeah, I know there's snow inside on the floor, Joe, but I don't know why. Um, we were saying it might just be because it's so close to the edge of the lot. It's only one tile away. It does have a roof above it. So, I'm just doing my best to ignore it at the moment. I'm sorry, Robin. I know you want some attention right now, but you actually can't be here, so... Okay, now I'm going to also ban Harlow. Sorry. Alright, we'll do a... May I help you on her? And Maybe that'll have... No, no, okay. I can't even do that. Alright. Well, do may I help you on Terrence? Robin, you need to go, honey. You need to go home. I might just quickly take care of that. Sim Blender. Uh, teleport. Clear off. Oh, there she goes. She's gone now. Never mind. I don't mess with lots like that because of that. The glitches bug me far more than not having connected townhouses. Fair enough. I really like my connected townhouses, though. Makes me happy. Hmm. Only some lots do that. Yeah, it's weird because it's not happening on this side. So this here, this is just as close to the edge of the lot as this is. So each of them are one tile in. Right? But it's not happening on that side. So it's a bit weird. All right. Um, I think, how much money have we made today? Another 200 smoleons, not bad. Glitches me. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> You're like, not today. Oh, hello, Oswin. Nice to see you, Minister. It's the same side as mine on the left. Oh, so it's obviously a thing. Isn't that weird though? Hmm. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> My dog just freaked out because she thought I was going to throw a tea bag on her face. You're all right, darling. I will not throw a tea bag on your face today. Can't wait to play with businesses again. I love playing with businesses. It's so much fun. Like I saw your um your ranking of the Sims 2 packs, Hendrik. I agreed with most of it, but I would put open for business in like top tier. I think you put it in second to top. And I was like, ooh, like I personally for my gameplay, open for business is like god level. But I guess it depends on your play style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. OFB top tier, yeah. Okay. I think we'll close the store at 3pm today because I want her to be home with enough time for uh, her townie male friend, whose name I forget right now, Dunstan, to come a-calling. Um, so we will, we will close up at 3 and get everything like checked out and restocked and everything. Um, and then we, so we can be home by like four at the latest. Aww. I like how Terence doesn't have shoes. That makes me happy because he's a gypsy, so. 
In the middle of winter, he's walked down to town without shoes on, <laughs> as you do. They need a hatch to cover the pool. There is actually a, um, a nook there, a buggy boo's nook. It just, yeah, you can still see the pool, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if I could also put a hatch there. Let me see. Oh, I totally thought it was in um, curtains. Uh-oh. I'm not going to be able to find the hatch now, am I? Batten down the hatches, boys! I could put that there. There you go. I'll just put some dirt there. It's fine. Less annoying than seeing the pool. Yeah, you put it in second, but only because I don't play with it all the time. Yeah, fair enough. Search function. I know, Shadow. I know. I really, really would love a search function. <laughs> it's It would be very helpful. But I, the way I do get around that usually is by using my collection folders to the nth degree. Oop. I have stayed open longer than I intended. Let's go ahead and close up. Does anybody need to pay for anything? No, okay. Let's go ahead and get restocked then. Quickly before we go home for the day. Um, I don't actually think we have any more eggs in our inventory. We don't. Okay. Okay, we don't have any more cattle horns. Don't have any more eggs. No worries. <laughs> there are now too many collections, so now I spend my time going, where is that collection vial? Uh-huh. On the other hand, EA names things the most random difficult things. Yes, they do. Penguin! Okay, let's go ahead and get our butts home before we pee ourselves. We need to get a uh, a toilet in here. Okay, so we today we made another 377 simoleons, which is pretty, pretty good. We had to buy that extra butcher station, which cost a couple of hundred simoleons. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's a solid day. And just, yeah, it gives us a little bit of extra money to pay our taxes with. Penguin, you're in the way, buddy. There you go. I find, Joe, that the way around the, where is the collection file, uh, is to have really good images, really good thumbnails. What are they called? Icons. Icons for your collection files. That makes it very helpful. I read the description of a bed on Sims 2 Life Stories once, and boy, that was a different time. <laughs> Search. Bunk bed. The ultra puffy spaceship wooshy kid corner. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> I froze. Am I unfrozen? I'm unfrozen on my screen. Hello? Maybe try refreshing, Joe? I thought I was okay. Okay, we're home. Excellent. Go ahead and use the toilet. Oh, hey, an easily pronounced name. Good to see you in there. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it must have just been a random internet glitch. Sorry, Joe. I'm like, I swear I'm okay. All right, now we are going to go ahead and uh, get ourselves a spawner. And we are going to spawn a towny sim. We are going to get Dunstan Bane to come a calling. Hello. And I'm just going to make him selectable just because it's fun have him I'm gonna pretend that he like comes and knocks on the door hello may I come in and we are going to oh no we clogged the toilet great let's go ahead and do a gesture that's what you get <laughs> Joe is so refreshing she is living out in the sticks that is what you get okay 
So we're gonna make some dinner for us. And yes, this is a Malk. If you're still in chat, I hope you are, because we're about to uh, redeem. We're about to fulfill your redeem here. I'm just going to whoopsie. Uh, collect those ashes, light the fire. We're gonna get some dinner on the way, and then we might have a nice sort of romantic evening. Let's do some bacon and cabbage. Doesn't that sound amazing? Ah, oh, yeah. Make it risky. I will make it risky, Shadow. There's no such thing as safe wahoo in the medieval era. Like, oh, and let me double check that my risky woohoo settings are still accurate. Uh, okay. So I just need to go adjust, casual romance, uh, hood, global defaults. Yep, so risky is set to 26% chance. Okay. But yes, no, there's no such thing as safe wahoo in the medieval era, okay. So, unless, you know, you pull out, that's gross. I pretend I didn't say that. But, like, if you go all the way, then there's a chance of baby. And that's their reality. So. Can I make a Team Rocket joke or is it too late? You can make a Team, a team Rocket joke. Pulling out doesn't stop it? Really? You got a story to share there, Shadow? No, I won't ask you. Prepare to get frisky and make it risky. <laughs> Excellent. I like how he's going around and cleaning our house for us. That's really nice, but not necessary, bro. <laughs> nope. Oh my gosh, that tea is divine, you guys. If you do not have tea, go and get tea. The toilet's objecting to what's about to happen. <laughs> oh, no worries, Rachems. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for being here. It was really good to see you. There are tadpoles in... Oh, true. True, true. So there you go. There is just... There's just no safe woohoo in the medieval era. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you. You too. I forgot that it's actually the weekend. All the days are the same for me at the moment. We don't leave our house much and we're not working much, so <laughs> every day is kind of the same. These two do seem to get along quite well though, which is nice. He wants to have a talk and do some playing. Go ahead and get them to just hurry up and eat their food because we're just, time is a wasting and time is a precious resource. The plates? Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? This is just a medieval default I have for the plates. Um, but I do also have a mod, kind of thanks to Joe as well, where I can pick the uh, appearance of my plates. It's beautiful. If you've not seen that shadow, I can show you that now if you want to see. Um, there's a little, there's a modded object called the plate controller. Um, and I can, but which ones? I'll show you what my options are. Wait up. So, I think... Um, are they in appliances? Miscellaneous. I think they are. Yeah. So you get this little plate controller out. And then I can make them colour one. Which is this. Colour two. Which I use for my peasants. Because it's this like beautiful wooden texture. Colour 3 is a bit more fancy. Colour 4, very fancy. Colour 5. Colour 6. So that one's another really beautiful, plain, like, terracotta -y one. And then, yeah, Colour O is the silver. So we have them... And then I have the default, which is, like, the terracotta colour. So for this family, I'd probably have them be that. Um, but, yeah, they're really nice. Kicks the door of the plum bob keep down. Yeah, Joe made those, I'm pretty sure. And I love them. They're so nice. Same here until school, go school goes back. Joe, Jats is working again, but a rotating roster so he can work any day, any time, and can't be relied on for what day it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Joe, pop the link in chat because those things are awesome. 
Let's do a little tickle. Oh, look at this. Okay, he wants to play with us and appreciate us. I'm just going to put this uh, leftover food away before it goes to waste. Because that's always a good idea. And then you kind of need to use the bathroom, which is unfortunately clogged. But that's okay, you can go and do that. Yes, Joe also has a modern set and a party set. You're back! No worries, that's okay. I, I totally get that with live streams. It's like, you kind of pop in and you pop out and you pop in. <laughs> that's me. Bathroom. Sounding very American, sorry. Sometimes my inner yank comes out. Um, okay, let's go ahead and collect the ashes as well so it's not just a pile of ashes sitting on the floor. And then why don't we just, you know, come in the nice cozy living room and, and see what happens. Maybe see if there's any potential canoodling. Apparently we're trying a dirty joke. I'm not sure if she's going to like that, but that's okay. Got a little sideswipe by my comp needing some love and taking on Kirsten's download. Kristen's download folder, sorry. How are you going with that, Shadow? Kristen's download folder. It's a big job. You guys wanna... Oh, yep, okay. <laughs> so, um, I didn't have to do anything, y'all. The game is totally on board with a potential woohoo, a risky woohoo, between Fenella Wealthy and Dunstan Bane, who now has a crush on Fenella as well. Exactly. Well, there we go. <laughs> I thought that might happen. It's like this beautiful romantic environment in front of the fire. It's, it's a bit warm. Oh, let me just strip off my shirt. <laughs> Honestly, I never used to like live streams. So glad I found Small Sims 2 streamers. I'm glad you have as well. It's going pretty well. Excellent. Oh, now we have a crush on him too. So I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure this is a, a risky woohoo right here, right now. Let's just censor this a little bit because Sims 2 woohoo on the couch is a little bit uh, dirty. We'll just keep an eye on them around the corner. Well, I have over a thousand files shifted around in source. Well done. Oopsies, was that my chemise? <laughs> Beeping tongs. So they're not doing a try for baby, which I'm glad for. Got to merge a bunch soon. Okay. I think this is a risky woohoo right here that they're doing. Because I think, by default, it's risky. But there we go. I can officially... Uh, da -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, never mind. I was going to fulfill the thing, but it's okay. They just keep going. Yeah, all ACR woohoos are risky. That's what I think too, just said. Yeah. <laughs> they were really into that couch woohoo, weren't they? Uh, that was a lot of fun for them. All right, let's uh, appreciate, admire, and entertain joke. Okay. Then we will make him unselectable. We've had our fun. This was never meant to be anything serious, so we're going to just... Uh, Give him a little sweet talk and then probably just say goodbye. It's late. We've had a long day. It's time to get to bed. I do not have silent jingles, no. Sorry. I know you guys find it fun. Oh gosh, and I've forgotten to check on our cows. Oh, Charlotte, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. That is really generous of you. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying being here. Okay, our cows are doing pretty good. I'm gonna um, have this cow grow up. There we go. Uh, there is a little stinky over here with all the dung. We'll have to spend tomorrow uh, doing some housework and <laughs> making sure our cows are all fed and watered. Enjoy those emotes, by the way, Charlotte. 
I like them quite a lot. I drew them myself. You prefer silent. You prefer the jingles, Shadow. Okay. I have silent jingles now because I'm an indecisive bean when it comes to that. <laughs> Not pregnant. Nope. I'm impatient when I want a bean. I want it now. Yeah, I like to know. I think that's why I don't have it. Is because if I'm trying to have a baby, I like to know. But yeah, I don't know. You're in the No Jingles Club, Shady. We could take a vote. If you guys want to vote on if we should have no silent pregnancy in our... Um, in our Medieval Charter Challenge, we could take a vote on that. So glad Franny now has a romantic prospect. If she ever decides to want something different for her life, we'll know who to pursue. Also, I've just realized we have the wrong amount of days left in winter, so I'm just gonna spawn this for a second. Uh, gotta add an extra day. There we go. Okay, let's go down and get set up for the day. Let's go ahead and just get dressed. We need to unclog the toilet. She wants to be BFF with him. He, she does, she does. They're actually both popularity sims, I realize. I don't mind how you do it for my own gameplay. I like surprises. I had silent, but I took it out because I found I was just checking every time with Sim Blender. <laughs> Lol, <laughs> true. You have no jingles because I used the pregnancy test. Oh, that makes sense. Thank you, Shady, for the hydrate. Um, that obviously only fits modern games. Thank you, Shala. Oh, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that you like them. <laughs> I wish there was some sort of psychic that could tell you if a sim was pregnant or not for money. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. A gypsy lady. It would be cool if the gypsy lady could tell you if you were pregnant. I also use the test. I love the reactions it gives. Oh, cool. Yay, Bella there with the super cute tea emoji. I had a lot of fun when I was adding the extra ones. Oh dear, okay, we have, we have an issue here, which is that our cows are hungry and we are out of hay. Ugh. We should have bought some more animal feed from the weekly market when we were there. Oh dear me. We also really need to go ahead and collect all this cow dung because it's disgusting. You guys are dirty, dirty cows. Um, okay, so both of the cows... Hey, this one's a bull! How come there's no snow on the floor? I just have it turned off, Bella. Um, just to help with the graphics load on the um when i'm streaming my computer just struggles a little bit with the snow so i just have it turned off on the lot but guys 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 do you remember how the other stream we were talking about how every cow seems to grow up as a female this one grew up as a boy this one's this one's a bull yeah pink with snow yeah I always play with my laptop muted because my earphones broke. I usually find out if they're pregnant from Sim Blender. <laughs> Fair enough. Jenny Smith. I tested her too soon and she wasn't pregnant and she cried. Oh. Didn't we discuss that they needed to grow up naturally? Well, we did say that, but I forced this cow to grow up. Like, I, I said forced grow up with that one. So... That's quite interesting to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is because we're out of feed for our cows and we are a butcher, <laughs> we may just we may just butcher our cows <laughs> and they're currently sick. Uh, we, we may just we may slaughter our cows and butcher them ready for uh yeah, no, I forced, I did force grow up on this guy. For sure. 100%. I did. Romance sims will cheer when they're not pregnant. That's cute. 
But yeah, I I think I think we can't we can't feed our cows right now, so we're gonna say goodbye to these these darlings. Sorry, sorry cows. I do love you really. Um But it's it's a hard it's a hard winter and it's time for you to uh become feed. Rather than starve to death and disappear. Okay. At least you didn't kill them on accident. True. So I'm going to say that she's uh, putting down the cows. So we're going to get, again, two of the carcasses, which I will reprice in Simpie. Um, I will delete these. I will add back... The 400 simoleons, we're short, there we go. And then we will pop them in our inventory. And we'll do some butchering. This afternoon. Let's have some breakfast first. Harsh but life. It's winter. <laughs> it happens. I can't feed you so you'll be feeding me. Don't make me feel bad. It's winter. <laughs> I think it's more humane than letting them starve to death. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this cup of tea. I didn't think it was possible to love a cup of tea as much as I love this cup of tea. Hi Kate Simsley, good to see you. Welcome into the stream. I am Beth, I'm tea addict. If you can't tell from me just like having a love affair with my tea right now. Um, and this is my Sims 2 Medieval Town Challenge. So welcome. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Okay, so she's had an omelette for breakfast. And this time because I selected the new plate colour. You can see her plate is now this colour which is really fun. What kind of tea is it? So this is lemon ginger and it's just in one of my little leafy mugs. So it's just herbal tea. No sweetener, no milk. Um, and yeah, lemon and ginger because... I had a stuffy nose. I don't know. I was like, I better have some lemon ginger tea. <laughs> if you're not well, <laughs> you have to go straight for the lemon ginger tea. <laughs> Obviously. It's going well, thank you. We're having a lot of fun. Well, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm hoping that you guys are having a lot of fun too. <laughs> Such a cute mug. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and clean that up. Collect some water. Do we still have any firewood left? I wonder. Oh, thank you for the follow, Kate. Appreciate that. Is there any buffaloes in The Sims? Um, I don't think that anyone has modded in buffaloes yet. I'm not sure. Someone might be able to uh, correct me on that. No, we don't have any firewood left. Oh, no. So we're just going to be cold uh, washing up this morning. It's like the last day of winter, so I guess it wouldn't be that cold. I'm having a bunch of fun. I'm glad that you are. Although, you know what? We do kind of need to go. To, oh, we need to go down to the market, but it's Sunday. I, I, in my head, canon, the market's not open on Sunday because we also need laundry soap. We need to go and buy laundry soap so that we can um, wash our clothes, but... Maybe that'll be a problem for next time. Okay. So today we want to meet someone new. We also want to serve food. I think what we'll have her do today is maybe walk down to the village well to collect a couple buckets, extra buckets of water. Because she seems to be struggling, struggling a lot to actually have enough water um, most of the time. And she likes meeting people. She also wants to be friends with Julia Laoc, so Or Julia Beak now. So if we can maybe... Hope to run into Julia on a community lot. That might be nice. So. Oh yeah, we need to do some butchering as well. Okay, we'll do that this afternoon. Let's have her... Oh, hello. Joella Bain is here. Wait, hello. Hello. If I greet you, does that fulfill my want to meet a new sim? Nope, she's leaving. Okay, never mind. The gong pit. It's fine. 
It's a little, like, it's got flies, but it's not, like, got a green stink cloud or anything. Oh, no, she was just smelly. Oh, hi, Nara. Maybe let's try greeting Nara. Nara's got a different body shape outerwear on, which I guess is fine. Oh, she's admiring me too. Oh, okay. Okay, but apparently we already knew Nara. It did not fulfill our want to meet a new sim, unfortunately. The clothes were smelly from the laundry mud. Well, she, her hygiene was just really low. That's why, she, that's why she was smelly. She just had, like, her hygiene was, like, in the, almost in the red. But yes, we also did have stinky clothes from laundry mud. Man, they're getting along really well. That was a long chat that they just had. Okay, farewell, fairly well. Have a wonderful Sunday. We're gonna go down to the community well. Collect a couple extra buckets of water for ourselves. Oh, yeah, 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 Shadow. Okay, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, it just takes a minute after they sponge bathe. Um, it just takes a minute for the green stink clouds to disappear. Yeah. That's just a, that's just a quirk with the sponge bathing not not a big disaster I got two very sleepy doggies on my floor right now okay let's go ahead and hello Hilda let's greet Hilda do we know Hilda hello Poor Hilda, she's had such a tough life and now she's pregnant and her husband's away at war for like two weeks. Okay, we already knew Hilda. Do we know Nancy Bird? Hello, Nancy. We already knew Nancy. <laughs> this is the problem with being an open for business owner, is that you know everybody in town because they come and shop in your shop and that creates relationships with them. What about Calvin Bain? Hello, let's meet him. Yes, you... You want to meet someone new, don't complain at me. No worries, Amal. Have a good night. Not washing her clothes made her get stinky. I think it can, but I'm not sure. A jelly belly, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a jelly belly. It's, it's hard to tell because I am already... I was already a little overweight, <laughs> but I'm definitely getting a jelly belly. My pregnancy app was like, your baby is the size of an apple this week. And I was like, dude, that's actually significant. Apples are like fairly large. Um, so I can definitely notice that my tummy's sticking out a lot more. Um, no, don't toss a football. Can you just chat with Hilda? Hilda's going to need friends. That's what I'm calling it now, a jelly belly. <laughs> Makes sense. <sighs> okay, well, so far, no luck with the Julia. I might unlock that so that she can maybe roll a want to be friends with somebody else. Dinner's pinging. Yay! That's okay. You can go and grab your dinner. I do like the idea of Fenella having a lot of friends around town, a lot of people who like her, who admire her, and who know her, because she's pretty cool. No worries, Shadow. I'm not sure. I probably will have finished, but we'll see how we go. Um, let's do a joke. Let's admire... Let's see if she'll let us talk to her jelly belly. <laughs> Oops, she didn't like our joke. Uh oh, do we have a bad sense of humor or something? No, we don't. Okay, well, that's weird. Oh, 
She's like, um, no, please don't talk to my belly. <laughs> okay, fine. Sorry, Hilda. All right, well, I guess we'll head back home then. Okay. I don't think... I feel like Julia doesn't leave her house much. Like, I feel like I rarely see her on community lots or at other people's businesses or anywhere. She's a very homebody sim in The Sims 2. Not so much in The Sims 1, but in The Sims 2 she is. In The Sims 1, she's on every community lot. Just being famous and fabulous. Okay. So when she gets home, whoa, rotation lag. Okay, we're fine game, we're fine. We're gonna go ahead and butcher our cattle. Here we go. Hi Gertrude. Just creeping at my front door, totally fine. One thing I'm definitely looking forward to when we start our next round in the spring is we're going to have more ROS rolls. I cancelled all of the winter ROS rolls because of the war, but I kind of miss it now. <laughs> kind of just miss it a little bit. Only a little bit. Don't all, don't all immediately start redeeming extra ROS rolls, please. But it's like, it's a little bit of fun. <laughs> it's a little bit of fun. Yeah, everybody's like, more, more ROS. I actually really love, I don't know if Kristen's still here, historical seller, but she's got a Regency ROS that's like a little program and you just hit roll and it rolls something for you. I really like that. I kind of want to get my hands on it and see if I can rewrite it to include my medieval stuff. <laughs> I think that would be really fun. But I don't know how complicated that would be. Okay, there we go. One lot of butchering done. Everybody's like, yay, more ROS. Just a reminder that Sims can often die. That's why they're a bit scary. Okay, then we'll go ahead and clean that. Clean that. We're just going to do some chores around the house. Butchering frozen meat. Well, you know, it keeps it fresh. We're pretending that she freezes it after she butchers it. Alright. Don't judge. Okay, and then I was thinking... Can we maybe deposit a little bit of moolah? Just to have a little bit of a rainy day account, which is ironic because this bank set is called the rainy day saving set. Let's just put a little bit of that away, which is nice. And then we can maybe like do some reading or something. I don't know. You want to study physiology. So why don't you go ahead and do that? She is a merchant, so she does know how to read. She has that above our peasants and yeomans. Been a very quiet day today, though. Very quiet. Gertrude Harrelson really likes walking by our house, also. She's, like, dropping by all the time. I don't really know why. That's alright. Lord Donald Farquaad. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and meet him. Hello. I wonder if that's a new sim who we haven't met before. So Lord Donald Farquaad is the royal steward of the town. Don't leave, Donny, don't leave. No, don't, Donny, don't leave, don't leave. Oh, bugger, we were too late. Ah. Would have been really fun for Fanny, Franny to get to know him. Bugger. Okay. In that case, we'll just go ahead and have some dinner. I'm also noticing, I don't know if it's just something with this fridge, but for some reason I can't get leftovers. I am 100% positive that we have put leftovers in this fridge because we put away the dinner that we made last night. Um, that's a bit of an issue. I don't know what that's about. 
But yeah, there's no option for get leftovers. So I don't know. Whatever. Medieval fridge by Simatic 99 that is. Needs updating? Possibly. Maybe it needs to be updated with like the seasons patch or something. Because I also, oh you know what, I also can't stock the fridge. Wait, so maybe this fridge is pre-seasoned? Yeah, I might have to look into getting a replacement for this fridge. Yeah, okay. I'll look in to see if there's an updated version of that. Hey, hold on guys, I just gotta let the dogs out. There we go. Now I think we'll reward Frenny for all... It's Fenny, actually. Oh, the puppies, yeah. They just wanted to go and see what their dad was doing. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll reward her with a nice hot bath for all of her hard work at the butchery this, uh, this part. And then we will send her to bed in a minute. And that'll pretty much be her round over. We'll obviously just have to pay her taxes in the morning. We're also going to have a lot of dirty laundry to do <laughs> in the uh, spring. Which I kind of like. Yeah, we've got 10 piles of laundry to do. I kind of like that we've got all this laundry we need to do in the spring when it's like the snow goes away and it gets warmer. And it's like spring cleaning time. You got to take all the linens out, you know, and bash them and air them. That's, that's what's going to be going on in my head, Canon. <laughs> that we have to go out and... Um, yeah, do our little, all of our laundry come springtime. Which is now... How wonderful. I also kind of need a seasons adjuster. Pop that there for now. Okay, so let's just slow that down for a second and I will show you guys the taxes for Fenella Wealthy. So, unfortunately, she's actually making a quite a significant lot. Oh, really? Oh, thank you, Joe. I might I might follow that. Um, but yeah, she's unfortunately making quite a significant loss. Um, so we've only earned 1089 simoleons. Um, and our rent alone is 1,250 simoleons. So we owe 1,467 simoleons to the crown and 100 simoleons as a tithe. Tithe, sorry. So it's a little bit rough for Fenella Elsie. That's why I was saying about we might need to reconsider how much the cows cost her to buy from the other sims. At the moment, um... Calves cost her 500, and then cows cost her a thousand, and a fatted cow costs her 1500. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. So, I mean, if she were to buy only calves and then raise the calves herself, she might be able to like turn a profit on the cows. But I think it might be that we've set them to be too expensive. <laughs> we might need to look at like halving these costs because we need to make sure that everything is like. Fair and I guess even in our um, yeah in our town's economy and my town's economy is very much something that I am making up as I go along I just want you guys to all be aware that there are no like <laughs> real set rules that I'm following here with my economy I am literally just making this up as I play so that would be why I'm very open to just tweaking things and making sure it's all working nicely. So yeah, we need to send 1,000 to whoop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Lord Donny. Then we need to send one, two, three, 
four, and about that. Balanced economy. Yeah, you do the same thing. Yeah, I just... It's, it's, it's a work in progress. There we go. Okay, so that's our taxes paid. Excellent. And then we also owe 100 simoleons as a tithe to Oswin Cloy. So Oswin's going to be rich, man. Again, after we finish our winter round completely, I think I'm going to uh, nix how much the tithe is as well. I'm not sure. But I feel like he's getting a lot of money from our townsfolk at the moment with their 10% tithe. The church is going to be extremely rich. Although I guess, I guess when there's a monastery, that kind of makes sense that the monastery would be really rich. But at the moment, we literally just have like a village parish. So I don't know how rich Oswin should realistically be. But anyway. All right, guys, I am going to probably wrap up the stream here. I know it's a little bit shorter than I usually stream for, but I am feeling the need to go and get out from under these bread bread lights. I don't know how like streamers who stream for hours and hours and hours do it. Like I just don't get it because it's like, dude, it's exhausting. But um, yeah, I might wrap up stream here. Yeah, I'm glad you could be here as well, Bella. Now, before you all run away, before you all run away, run away, run away. I am considering, and I wanted to talk to you about this, um, I'm considering moving the, the next stream, which for me is usually Sunday night, to Sunday morning instead. Um, oh, true, Jetset, true, yes. Um, simply because I'm finding it really challenging to stream at night time right now. And I feel like most, so the reason, the reason that I do the stream on Sunday night usually is because it's a good time for those of you who are in Europe. Um, so I don't want to like alienate all the European viewers by only streaming really late your time. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm really struggling to do the nighttime streams right now, so... Morning for you is always better for me because night for you is morning for me and I'm asleep or at work. Yeah. So I might um, actually announce that on Discord, but I am thinking I might move that stream to, to be morning as well. Saturday night for you, so that would work. Yeah. Rather than doing it Sunday morning for you guys. Um, you go to bed late, so that works for you. Yeah, so if everyone's okay with that, I think I will do that. I just feel bad because <laughs> um, I, I don't want to alienate the viewers who can only catch me if I stream at night time. But yeah, I think what I think for me right now, yeah, no, fair enough, Bella. I think for me right now, it's what makes more sense and it might be what I kind of need to do. So I'll probably put that as an announcement on Discord that at least for the time being. So then both my streams will be at the same time. Um, both of them will start like about 8 o'clock my time in the morning. And then whatever time that is for you, it'll be it'll all be the same. So, yeah. Anyway, okay. Um, let's, let's wrap up. I'll chat to you guys on Discord about it anyway. But thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you uh, to Kate Simsley who, for the follow and to Sharla so much for that subscription. Really appreciate that again. Um, exactly, Jitset, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll put, it, I'll put it to a poll on Discord maybe and I'll just do like a straw poll or something and we'll go from there. But yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I love, love streaming so much. It is my happy place. So I really appreciate you all being here. I hope that you all have a wonderful sleep if you are in Europe or America and a great weekend. And I will see you all in a day or so. <laughs>
Thank you guys, no worries at all. Bye.